Hi, my name is John, and this is Ageless Golf Fitness. The following 10-minute lower body workout will help you work out the core muscles that are essential for stamina and flexibility in golf. I recommend doing this sequence at least once a week for six to eight weeks before switching things up. Let's start with a warm-up. Inhale and reach your arms out and up all the way above your head. Exhale and bring your arms down. Again, inhale, arms up, and exhale, arms down. Repeat this at your own pace. Shoulder rolls. Circle the shoulders forward at your own pace. Now, reverse the motion, circling the shoulders backward. Many people carry a lot of stress and tension in their shoulders. This movement can help to relieve that tension. Vertical neck rotations. Slowly lift your chin to look up as far as is comfortable for you. Then, slowly tuck your chin down. Repeat. Chin slowly up. And down. Continue this motion at your own pace. This movement helps improve range of motion in your neck. Horizontal neck rotations. Look to the right, tuck your chin down, and slowly rotate it to the center. Then slowly look up toward the left. Then reverse, tuck the chin, slowly rotate it through the center, and look back to the right. Continue this motion at your own pace. Wrist and shoulder stretch. Interlace your fingers, then press the palms to face outward, straightening your arms in front of you. Breathe deeply and hold. Then, with your fingers still interlaced, stretch your arms above your head in a straight line. Hold it here and breathe. Continue this movement at your own pace. Torso twist. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Bend your elbows and make fists with your hands in front of your chest. Twisting at the waist, move your upper body left and right. Continue doing this at your own pace. This exercise stretches your back and hips and works your core. Heel walk. Lift your toes off the ground. Now, walk in a circle on your heels. This might look and feel pretty silly, but it can help improve your balance and knee stability. Squats. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, toes facing forward, and place your hands on your hips for balance. When you squat, bend at the knees and push the hips back into a sitting position, as if you're going to sit on a chair. Continue doing this at your own pace. Keep your back straight and your chest open. Bend only as far as is comfortable for you. For a modified version, you can use a chair, lightly sitting in it as you squat. 
Squats are the most effective way to strengthen your legs, which can make them less prone to injury. Don't worry about how many you're doing, even if you only do one or two. The most important thing is proper form and moving at a pace that works for you. Boxer Shuffle. Make your hands into fists and bend 90 degrees at the elbows like you're boxing. Take quick, light steps back and forth, shifting your weight back and forth on each foot. Move at your own pace here and remember to stay on the balls of your feet rather than your whole foot. Standing Oblique Crunch. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Lift your arms out to the sides and place your hands on the back of your head with the elbows flared out to the sides. Facing forward, bend to the right. Then move back to center and repeat on the left side. Continue this movement at your own pace. High knees, stretch your arms straight out in front of you and moving at your own pace, bring one leg up at a 90 degree angle with your thigh parallel to the floor. Switch legs, alternating at your own pace. This exercise is good for endurance and balance. It also works the quads, hamstrings and glutes. Jumping jacks or step jacks. If you've watched my other videos, you already know that this is one of my least favorite exercises. However, it's a great cardio exercise. So here we go. Reach your arms and legs out as you jump up and back in as you come down. If you need a modification without jumping, you can do step jacks. The arm movements are the same in step jacks, but instead of jumping, you'll step one leg out to the side, bring it back in, and repeat with the other leg. Move at your own pace. In addition to being fantastic cardio, this exercise also helps strengthen your legs, core, and arms. Jog in place. We'll jog in place for 20 seconds. This is the last exercise before our cool down. So let's really put our energy into this one and make it count. Seated hip stretch. All right, let's stretch out. Come down onto the floor and brace your arms behind you. Fingers spread, facing away from you. Place your left ankle over the top of your right thigh. If you can, bring your chest forward until you feel the stretch in your right hip. As you can see here, I don't have to stretch very far forward to feel this stretch. Breathe deeply. Let's switch legs and repeat on the other side. Place your right ankle over the top of your left thigh. Stay here and breathe. This stretch helps to relieve any tightness in your hips, thighs and back. Cool down stretch. All right, 20 seconds to cool down. 
Stretch the arms up overhead as you inhale and exhale to bring them back down. Inhale, exhale, bring them down. And again, repeat at your own pace. That's it, you're done. Thanks for practicing with me. We'll see you next time.